as uh, mentioned, uh, Guinea has a lot to offer, uh, which is probably unknown. Uh, Guinea has uh, a landscape which is extremely attractive to tourism activities. Uh, of course, uh, our, the majority of our business come from uh, 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 travelers come from business uh, sectors, 40 percent. But we have uh, some of uh, the most attractive and, and top uh, landscape and markets uh, in, in, in West Africa. Uh, Guinea has uh, you know, the size of 245,000 square meters. You have uh, you know highlands, uh, you have uh, beaches, and uh, you know some beautiful landscape which probably we need to uh, uh, you know put out to the world. And uh, so I reach out to everybody to come and visit the country, which is extremely attractive tourism wise. But you know to be honest, uh, over the past uh, few decades or years, we have put emphasis more on the business type of uh, travelers. Uh, which now I think we need to diversify since we have a more ambitious uh, uh, vision for the country. Uh, as I said, you know, some of the, the biggest mining projects in the world, uh, uh, mining uh, such as iron and uh, bauxite, uh, 20 billion, so, uh, are taking place currently in Guinea. And you have many, many uh, also companies, uh, Western companies, you know, operating in Guinea. So it's a place to do business, but it's a place also to visit as the landscape is, 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 is really tremendous and uh, which you can uh, rarely find in, in Africa or in West Africa. It's a transitional phase. Uh, the aim of the government is not to fully own uh, the airports, the concessions or the airport uh, companies will be open to uh, private sectors, but we have to implement the, this first phase to, uh, you know, uh, uh, to buy back the share from the, the investors that we have in the past ADP, uh, Life Day and Chambre de Commerce de Bordeaux, and then to reach out to the new investors because we have this um, ambitious uh, project for the country. It's the only airport in the capital, the main airport in the country. So the objective is to start an infrastructure modernization project, which will take us from 600 passengers to up to 3 million passengers. So this is quite ambitious. And we are really working towards that as, uh, as we speak. Uh, in the next uh, few, few weeks or few months, uh, probably will start to the first phase of these projects. So it's, it's a very ambitious project because the number are telling us that uh, you know we need to uh, we need to we need to expand. You know our, our current capacity has come to a limit, uh, so that limit need to go uh, need, need to be expanded to a point that uh, to gather all these uh, you know grow of the country. So it's extremely, extremely important for the government and the president. Uh, um, uh, Colonel Mamadi Dumbuya is really behind this uh, ambitious project in order to give uh, to Guinea uh, during this transition period of 24 months one of the best airports in West Africa. I think that is a very good question because uh, as you probably know most of these airports uh, either in Europe or elsewhere uh, let's say in Africa were built and we didn't take into account the environmental sustainability issues. I think for us it will be uh, an opportunity uh, when you have a new infrastructure project to make sure that uh, sustainability is key, environmental issues are taken into account such as you know, noise uh, reductions and uh, G G GHG greenhouse gas emission will be reduced you know, simply by, you know, by looking at uh, the type of aircraft uh, you know, serving the, the airport, but also the type of infrastructure, you know, even the, the type of electricity that will be used. So we will be launched um, uh, with, within our certification, of course, the certification of the airport will also embrace a certification of COT or certification of, uh, of the airport in terms of sustainability to make it an eco-friendly airport. 
So yes, I could say that um, it will be an opportunity for us to factor that in and it's key nowadays and it's one of the key components, one of the key elements if you want to attract funding, if you want to attract even passengers into your airports.